The future of NAFTA is in question, and sugar policy in each country will most likely change. U.S. Department of Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross has set the deadline of June 5th for Mexico and the U.S. to come to a compromise, or the suspension agreements currently in place will be canceled. This would, in effect, create a prohibitive barrier for Mexican sugar entering the U.S. market. This video will address some of the problems that have clouded the future for NAFTA and potential outcomes that can be anticipated given current market dynamics. Taking a look first from the U.S. perspective, it is easy to see the problems as it relates to cane sugar av availability. Total projected ending stocks are tightening in the U.S. and have dropped to 11.8%, which is a little tighter than the 13.5% the USDA would like it to be. The main problem becomes evident when looking at ending stocks that are separated by cane and beet sugar. The dropping cane stock in the U.S. is symptomatic of the dysfunctional suspension agreement calculation which has caused imports of cane sugar from Mexico to drop year on year. Here you can see what those differences mean in terms of price. If you take a look at the dark blue and green lines, you will see that domestic prices of refined sugar have diverted course over the last year, with beet sugar currently trading at a discount of 6 to 8 cents per pound to refined cane sugar. You can also see where U.S. domestic cane prices have risen well above the suspension agreement minimum price requirements, reflecting the restriction of Mexican supply into the U.S. All the while, world market at number 11 prices continue to drop lower and lower. Beet stocks have come down in recent months as a result of the discounted price to cane sugar and shortfalls in production this season. Raw cane stocks appear to be at healthy levels for the time being, but that is only because of the slow melt rate seen this year. As a result, refined cane sugar availability is at the lowest level seen in years. From Mexico's point of view, they see the decreasing access to the U.S. as a risk to their business model. It is hard to plan for an export quantity that continues to decrease year on year. Furthermore, the domestic market in Mexico has been rising steadily. In order to maintain these supported prices, the industry knows that exports will be necessary and the preference is to maximize access to the U.S. market. With renegotiation talks well underway, there are two potential outcomes that we need to be prepared for. The first outcome is that the U.S. and Mexico decide to part ways and no deal is reached. In this scenario, we can expect that two things will happen. One, U.S. will need to increase TRQs, and two, Mexico will retaliate with additional duties on HFCS supply from the U.S. For the TRQ increase, we estimate that the minimum volume would be somewhere around 250,000 metric tons to make up for the lost Mexican supply not entered by June 5th. Realistically, the U.S., we think, would need to increase volume somewhere in the 500 to 750,000 metric ton range in order to correct the current low stock situation. A loss in HFCS supply would increase Mexican domestic demand of sugar, making it essentially self-sufficient in, in terms of sweetener. The second and most likely option is that an agreement is reached. In this scenario, we see a likelihood in the reduction of refined sugar access into the U.S. Raw sugar volumes would most likely increase slightly to accommodate the current low stock situation. However, we think there would be some sort of shipping restriction placed on raw sugar entering the U.S., whereby a large percentage of the quota would need to reach the U.S. by bulk vessel into named refineries. The shipping restrictions would effectively bypass the necessity to change the definition of refined sugar in the U.S. and current polarity restrictions of 99.5 would be maintained. In the end, it just makes sense for the U.S. and Mexico to come to an agreement. To cancel the suspension agreements would put the market in a hole that would be difficult to climb out of. Thank you for your time.